Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 3 of the post game of Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. This time I think if I hurry I can get through two groups of former allies, so let's head off to the Island of Fairies. Unlike what I expected, there's no event when you get near them. You just need to interact with them in order to do it. It's a bit hard to find on that account. Well, thank God for the wiki, right? You guys. So you're hiding in a place like this. And you are the heroes and their companions. If you've come here to hunt, then we'll be glad to take you on. We can't let you re run amok in this world any longer. Here and now, we're going to settle you down. In the previous battle, we didn't have a chance to settle matters, did we? How about we take you on seriously this time? It's nice to release our forms. So, commencing execution. So these girls release forms in order to become more powerful, I guess. Execution releases her form. I'm going full power too. Oni Fang release. And she releases her form as well. So, let's do this so that we can not regret holding anything back. Let's finish this. Let's see. God killing move. They're not too much different. They just have auras about them now. Well, anyway. She releases her form too. So, they're all serious. They've got incredible power, don't they? But we won't lose. No, you don't know how right you are, Luca. Maybe I should rework the setup, though. This is taking a bit long. Yeah, that really shouldn't have taken so long. I'm gonna re examine that later. To think that we would lose. You've got such splendid power. With this, we're going to have you stop attacking villages and towns. From the very beginning, we didn't really want to do that. That was just an obligation to the Lord of the Dreams. I thought it was pretty fun though. Weren't you the one who we last saw complaining because you were working non-stop? Well, we didn't last here. You're the one who complained the most. Back in Chapter 4. But anyway. Our objective in this world is something else entirely. Here we're searching for a certain thing. Just what's this certain thing? We're searching for a method of killing angels. 
in the world that we came from, we're facing a a war with angels. So we wanted to find a way to kill angels here. A way to kill angels, huh? If you have that, then you aren't going to sow violence in this world any longer. Yes, we can promise that. If we can get that, then there's only searching for a way back to our original world. Very well. A way to kill angels. We'll search for it. But don't trust, test it out on the angels of this world. I don't like angels either, but they too have their troubles. It's alright. We have no grunge against the angels of this world. So then, we're counting on you. Come to think of it. We have in our hands the fragments of the Dashin pen. That was Daimyomi's whip. It's unusable as a weapon, but these girls might want it. So immediately it cuts to the scene where they take it. <clears throat> Here. How is this? It's a treasure that hides the power to destroy angels. Or rather, a fragment thereof. The fragments thereof? I see. This is... From these fragments, I feel a strange power. This is sucked a rather large amount of Angel's blood. It's dripping with hatred and killing intent. Huh, with this, we might be able to do it. But is it enough? Probably you won't be able to use it as a weapon. We are avatars of demon swords. Somehow or another, there's a way for us to use it. So we give the fragments of the Dashim pen to Mistletane. So, you've truly fulfilled your promise, haven't you? There's no need to any further wander about this world. So after this, there's just searching for a way to return to our original world. That too. Let us help you out. Right now it'll be it's hard but we should find a way eventually Until then would you come together with us Honestly it would be troubling to have you wandering about out here Hmm you simply don't trust us, it seems. Well, we did cause enough violence on our ward account, so that's only natural. As long as you feed us, it's perfectly okay. But I've got a condition. When you go to clash with Stronger, 
opponents, strong enemies, call me up. Oh, God, jeez. Jeez. <clears throat> so then. Henceforth, we'll be moving as your companions. Acting as your companions. <laughs> Take good care of us. This little Tangri joins the group. Rely upon my power. Ogratus joins the group. All together, let's execute our enemies. Executioner joins the group. No way to think we'd join up with these with this lot. This runt she disgusts me. You're the runt. <laughs> Don't get in a runt fight, you guys. And you're a runt too. <sighs> X. Don't stir up trouble with our companions. And Ogre, too. You understand, right? I understand, big sis. I won't be picking fights with our with those on our side. Jeez. This lot has some weird habits. If anything, if they try, when they try anything, we're counting on you, Nobisa. That's right, they come from Nobisa's world. Nobisa and Tasa. Anyway, with this, one more incident's been solved. So, we, keep on, we need to keep on chasing down the other Alliance members. And we're back to Grand Noah. Everything revolves around this place, it seems. There's the rumor that that Est comes out in the Colosseum. But could such a thing actually be? Yeah, I really think that it's just going to be a false lead. Some random soldier. Uh, as expected, Lady Est's uh, uh, matches are wonderful. Another guy. It's saying he's a a prophet, something like that. Anyway, he says he too. Ah, uh, you shouldn't be doing that when you're spectating. Jeez. Ahem. Lady Est is the best. Oh man, did they know that rhymes in English? She is showing up in the the matches after all. And furthermore, under her own name. And the guests are calling her Lady. Okay. Guest, just what are you up to? Well, if she's satisfied with the Coliseum matches, isn't everything fine like this? Well, even if it's good as of now, we don't know how it will be in the future. She might, perhaps, cause another big crisis. She's the very person who caused that big incident before. If we leave her alone, I too think it's dangerous. 
that incident. The world is faced with one hell of a crisis. Even if it seems, seems she's interested in the matches she has, she has here, she's still dangerous. So it's decided. Let's register her in the Coliseum and defeat Est. And once we've captured her, we should pull her in as a, one of our companions. Somehow, let's find a way to get it to work. Mm, although I don't think she's going to be that sim it's going to be that simple to capture her. Anyway, let's do what we can. If we let her get away, it'll be troublesome later. So, that's how it is. Let's register her to participate. Come, let's go to the receptionist. You didn't need to spell it out that far, jeez. This is the registration. This is the reception for those wishing to appear in the Coliseum. In what match would you like to participate? As long as we can fight with S, then anything is fine. So then, the register upon this, then upon this regis tournament registration document, etc., etc. Paperwork, right? So that is how we registered for the tournament. Without any difficult, we won through most of the matches and came to the final bout, the champion round, the uh, yeah champions round against Est. Well, the next opponent is you guys. <laughs> it looks like I can look forward to this very much. Est, just what are you thinking? The Coliseum. Isn't it interesting? Clashing together. Our bodies coming to grips with each other. What kind of fighting are you doing here? Now, from the very beginning, you aren't affected by physical attacks. Hmm. Isn't that rather against the rules of the tournament? The fighters that have come before me, all of them use sexual techniques against me. And I've defeated all of them. Slowly and pleasantly. The opponents that I faced and the spectators both, all, enjoyed it. This is a wonderful place, overflowing with dreams. Hmm, you got creepy hobbies. Well, however it goes down, we won't let you do as you please. Uh, that's how it is, so sorry, but we're going to be winning here. Forget about winning and losing, and enjoy it. Come, drown in a pleasure dream. Man, the way she talks about it is, is kind of creepy. Well, that took longer than expected. <laughs> I 
Uh, truly wonderful. I'm fully satisfied to be able to enjoy it this much. A dangerous character such as yourself, we can't leave to your own devices. Until you return to your original world, we're keeping you under our management. No, oh, you plan on keeping me. Note, the keeping, she says, is a word in Japanese that you refer to when you're keeping a pet. But anyway. To be able to uh, stop and find a dream is something no nobody can do. Hmm. Well, we're withdrawing the author. Offer. Right? Rance? Rolf? Rolf shows a complex expression. But it seems that I can enjoy wandering about this world with its overflowing pleasures. Still yet, there are many, many uh, enjoyments to taste here. Well, you won't get bored. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? I shall go together with you. For as long as you keep me entertained. Right? Oh, look at that. Haven't seen this in a while. S joins our party. Geez, they make us go through so much trouble to catch them. But now she's our companion. And that's an encouraging contribution to our cause. I can't consent to this, though. Don't come crying to me if she takes your necks. <laughs> I won't do such a thing. I might just play some little pranks coming out in their dreams, though. Even in our dreams, we, we won't be able to relax. relax. <clears throat> anyway, with this, another incident is resolved. Let's continue to chase after the other members of the Alliance. So that's that for this time. Why don't I show you one more event? In the Succubus Village, you can find a couple of characters to talk to. You remember Chapter 5, I think it was. We were here, or rather, Lorat. Lorat and... Rijeo. Lorette, Rijeo, and Magatsu were here. And Rijeo got to learn a, a couple of ninja skills from a Kunoichi succubus. But Magical Marinchan here also offered to teach magical girl skills. So if you come back afterwards, you can speak to her here in this pub. <clears throat> You've come, Rijeo. Rijeo-chan. Star. <clears throat> Come, have a form a contract with me and become a magical girl. Well, why don't I give it a shot? So then, leave it to me. To start with, let's train you on your transformation pose. And so, Riccio undertakes the training for Magical Girl. Well, I've mastered it, but that appearance... Don't look at it. 
So she gets the skills that she presumably would have gotten had we picked her back then. And still, Saki is hanging out up here too. Aha, so you've come. Let's have you, let's teach you some dances and, and have you debut as a dancer. Well, let's give it a shot. Come, let's dance together. It's all right. I'll make you into the best dancer. And so Rijia undergoes the training as a dancer. Well, this came together all right. What I needed to learn, I've learned. Here's a couple of songs. Maybe they're dances. They called dances. So now Saki's gone. Presumably if you'd chosen one of those two, then you could come here afterwards and get skills from the third and and from the Kunoichi Succubus. Although I don't know where she would appear, she'd probably be around here somewhere. In any case, that's what I've got to show you. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.